The Bermuda Triangle is perhaps the single greatest mystery in the world that people have been unable to solve for decades. This triangle-shaped area is located in the North Atlantic, between Miami, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. Due to the many mysteries and disappearances that are often associated with this place that have taken place over the centuries, it is often referred to as the Devil's Triangle. More than 150 ships and planes have disappeared or found their end in these damned waters. A couple of years ago, scientists said that they may have found the cause of these disappearances, which may shed light on this centuries-old mystery. So, if you thought that all the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle were a thing of the past, think again. After all, even with modern technologies and communications, the ships continue to disappear. The most recent case was also the largest in the last 30 years, and it occurred on October 1st, 2015. On this day, the huge cargo ship SS El Faro disappeared into the Bermuda Triangle. It was an 800-foot ship loaded with tons of containers of cars and other cargo. But the crew of 33 left Jacksonville, Florida and headed for Puerto Rico. At the same time, hundreds of miles from there, a huge tropical storm arose. After some time, it overtook and spun the ship, after which there was no news from the crew. Suddenly, the storm stopped as abruptly as it began. After a week's long search, SS Alfaro was finally found. It was discovered completely intact at a depth of 15,000 feet near the bottom of the Atlantic. No traces of the team were found. In the summer of 2003, the newlyweds Frank and Romina Leon decided to swim and go fishing on their pretty 20-foot boat. They sailed from Boynton Beach, Florida, and never returned. After several days of continuous searching, the rescue mission was curtailed. The Genesis dry cargo ship left a Spanish port in 1999 and sailed to St. Vincent in the Caribbean with a cargo of 465 tons. Their goods included bricks, concrete slabs, and water tanks. At some point, a ship sailing nearby received a signal for help from the Genesis. The team reported that they had a problem with a bilge pump. After this desperate call for help, the connection was lost. The U.S. Coast Guard searched 33,000 square miles, but the ship was never found. The 525-foot SS Point freighter left Philadelphia on October 24, 1980. It carried a cargo of corn and 34 crew members to Egypt. The skipper spent 41 years of his life at sea, and the rest of the team was no less experienced. The next day, it turned out that this was the last voyage of their ship. A sudden storm with 30-foot waves and a powerful wind enveloped the North Atlantic. And although SS Point had operated in much worse conditions before, this time it disappeared without a trace. Large-scale searches, including the use of nine helicopters, lasted 10 days, and during this time over 400,000 square miles were surveyed. Nothing was found that could indicate the location of the missing ship. Perhaps one of the most controversial and mystical events associated with the Bermuda Triangle occurred on December 5, 1945. That day, a group of five Avenger torpedo bombers flew from the naval base at Fort Lauderdale, who were supposed to be performing an ordinary training flight. This group was called Flight 19. At 14.10 local time, the torpedo bombers left the base. An hour and a half after the start of the flight, radio communications were spotted at the airbase, in which the pilots anxiously talked about the fact that their navigation equipment and devices had failed. All the compasses were out of order and they had become lost. The airbase authorities immediately sent two Martin Mariner rescue seaplanes to the area of the alleged Flight 19 training, but on different routes. One of them, after reporting that he was arriving at the area of the missing torpedo bombers, suddenly disappeared from the radio. It was not possible to establish a connection with him. At 21.20 local time, the captain of one of the oil tankers located in the Bermuda Triangle sent messages to the Coast Guard that he saw an explosion in the sky which later left an oil stain on the water. The tanker crew did not find anything under the scene of the explosion. The headquarters of the airbase ordered the pilot of the second mariner to fly to the coordinates of the first and the oil slick indicated by the sailor from the tanker in order to try to find the wreckage of the rescue aircraft. When the Martin Mariner pilot arrived at the site, he could not detect debris nor the oily stain on the water. If something was there, then it had disappeared without a trace. A further search for Flight 19 also failed. Ground searches were carried out with the help of volunteer detachments who were supposed to be looking for the wreckage of aircraft that had come ashore. But all was unsuccessful. People could not find anything that would indicate the fate of Flight 19 or the rescue aircraft. These are just a few cases related to the Devil's Triangle. For years, people have been guessing what is behind all these tragedies. But some scientists say that they may know the answer. Here are the most popular theories. 
Methane. Some researchers believe that ships and aircraft crash and disappear in this area due to methane gas. And it has indeed been proven that in some areas of the ocean floor, there are large reserves of this gas. When gas enters the water, it can cause the sinking of ships and the crash of aircraft. At the same time, the theoretical possibility remains that they should still be able to send an SOS signal. Wormhole theory. This theory is preferred by those who are fond of science fiction. In short, a wormhole is a space-time tunnel. The existence of wormholes has not yet been proven, but this doesn't prevent some people from believing that this phenomenon is the reason for all the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle region. Water tornadoes, or sea tornadoes. These weather events raise tons of water into the air. When meeting a ship, they can make it disappear with terrible ease. It is also reported that compasses malfunction in the Bermuda Triangle. This place is one of few on Earth where the compass is not always able to determine north. This can easily lead pilots and sailors astray, which leads to unfortunate consequences. The theory of human error seems rather reassuring to those who love secrets. However, some people are sure that all the disasters and disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle are simply due to human errors. There are too many confusing islands that are difficult to navigate and distinguish from one another. In addition, the region is teeming with difficult weather conditions. Now, I'm not going to say aliens, but aliens. No secret can exist without being tried to explain by the intervention of aliens. After all, it's quite simple to push everything incomprehensible to them. Why aliens might love this particular region so much remains inexplicable. All this is very interesting, but none of these theories has received any confirmation. New results from scientists allow them to argue that the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle was finally revealed. And the reason is... Huge sea monsters. But when we say monsters, we don't mean the Kraken or Cthulhu. In this case, they're huge rogue waves, which have long been considered a myth. That was until 1995 when a huge 84-foot wave, later called the Draupner Wave, was captured by satellite. Rogue waves are terrifying and abnormal. They're a large wall of water sweeping across the ocean. Believe me, you'll never want to meet such a wave in the open sea, because it destroys everything in its path. The strength of rogue waves can reach 9 metric tons per square foot. In comparison, a medium wave of 40 feet high has a force of only half a metric ton per square foot. So, although the existence of rogue waves has long been called into question, they could be a much more mundane phenomenon than scientists previously thought. Wolfgang Rosenthal, a German scientist who worked for the European Space Agency in the field of research of rogue waves using satellites, said that at any given time, about 10 of these terrible giants appear somewhere in the oceans. They're very different from tsunamis generated by earthquakes. Tsunamis are almost invisible at sea, but when they reach the shore, they demolish everything in their path. As for the rogue waves, they almost never approach the shore. These giants can reach 85 feet in height, which is equal to the height of a nine-story building. But this isn't the limit. According to scientists, the maximum height of the rogue wave could reach 200 feet, which is higher than the Washington Capitol. But such waves have not yet been seen live. Another dangerous thing to know about rogue waves is sea holes. These are recesses in the seabed which generate giant waves. For a ship, being close to such a place can turn into a disaster. After scientists from around the world recognized the existence of rogue waves, they began to research and search for ways to detect them. It turned out that one of the zones of mass generations of such waves is the Gulf Stream, which passes right through the Bermuda Triangle. A wave doesn't appear from scratch. It is very quickly formed from many separate waves absorbing their energy. In addition, a wave can form after the collision of two perpendicular wave flows. The Bermuda Triangle fits perfectly into all the conditions necessary for the formation of waves. Northern and southern storms in a collision generate waves up to 200 feet high. This may explain why ships in the Bermuda Triangle almost never send distress signals. They actually have no time to send them. The only mystery that still remains unresolved is the disappearance of aircraft. But let's not rush, research doesn't stand still. So, what do you think about the Devil's Triangle? Is it rogue waves? Aliens? Or maybe it is Cthulhu? Be sure to write your opinion down in the comments. And of course, don't forget to push like if you like this video. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more.